Hey guys, Mark McMahon, Mark McMahon Real Estate. Today I want to talk about how to get more money in your pocket if you're a real estate agent. So it's really, really hard in a market where the inventory is super low to find listings, right? And it's easy to find a buyer because everybody's looking for a property, but it's really hard to find a listing. And where's the juice, guys? It's in the listings, right? You control the listing, you control your income. You cannot control your income if you're a buyer's agent. You can make money, but it's very difficult. For those of you out there that are strictly buyer's agents and you're killing it, you guys know that that's rare. So for those of you that wanna become buyer's agents, guys, turn that around a little bit, go for the listings. And here's exactly what I would do if I wanted to get more listings right now. Let's dig right in. So a little back history. I got my license 15 years ago right before the crash, I thought I was gonna kill it in real estate because everybody was selling houses. It was so easy to make money back then, or so I thought. So I got my license, I set up shop, and the economy went to hell. So what did I do next? I didn't know what to do. There was no business other than REO business at that time, which is another fancy word for uh, foreclosures. And I hadn't been in the business long enough to be able to get that REO or foreclosure business from the banks. I was kind of stuck. I didn't have a way to make money. So what did I do? I started putting out feelers for what I should be doing, what I could do to get more business. And someone said, you should try going to an investment club and start talking to the investors and see if maybe you can find some customers there. So I did that. And in the beginning, I didn't find any customers because I found out that I could flip and buy and hold and do all those things. And then all of a sudden, Mark was a new iteration. It was Mark the investor, not Mark the real estate agent. It wasn't until a few years later that I put two and two together and realized that I could have made so much more money at that time had I done both at the same time. Think about this. It's like when you're an investor and you wanna find a property to buy, what do you do? You go out, you knock on doors, you make phone calls, you do all kinds of crazy things when the MLS has a bunch, a whole plethora of ready, willing, and able sellers that want to sell their properties. You're out trying to find stuff. You don't know if these people want to sell or not when you can go on the MLS and simply spend most of your time there finding the deals you're looking for. Guys, I'm telling you that as a real estate agent, you need to combine what you're doing with finding listings, and finding houses for yourself to purchase, finding houses for yourself to flip. That is where the money is. So what would I do differently if I could go back in time and go back to that investment club 15 years ago? I would go in there as a real estate agent looking for people that were looking for properties. But I wouldn't just do that because when you do that, it's not clear enough as to what those people want, what those buyers want. They want properties that are either gonna A, cash flow, or make money as flips, correct? So you need to be able to find those properties. But what you need to do is find out what the parameters of your buyers are. A lot of times I see real estate agents, I'm gonna go out and service investors because that's easy. It's not so easy, guys, unless you know exactly what they're looking for. I found out the hard way that every time I go out and try to find a property and push it on my clients, i.e. investors, they don't typically want it, right? I need to find out what they want and bring them that product. Another thing too is if you start bringing things to investors that they can't make money on, they will eventually stop taking your phone calls, stop responding to your texts, and stop responding to your emails. Why is that? Because it's like the little boy that cried wolf. You send them crap all the time, all the time, all the time, and at first they're excited. Oh man, these they're sending deals. This isn't a deal, this sucks. And you keep sending them sucky deals. Like I said, you're gonna get that reputation as the guy who has sucky deals. What you need to do is find out what each individual investor wants, where they wanna buy it, and what exactly they want as the spread. Do they wanna have $500 a month cash flow? Do they wanna have a $100,000 profit margin on their flip? You need that information, guys, and you need to put it all together and find them properties that match what they want, not what you want them to want, right? You're not the buyer, they are. It's not going to be a relationship that lives very long if you keep interjecting what you think is a good idea. Most of these people are seasoned veteran investors. You are not a seasoned investing expert, more than likely. You can become one, though. 
So you need to find out what they want. This will teach you what most people want and you will become a more effective agent. I started doing this with my real estate business years ago. Last year alone, I made a fortune as an investor, but guess how much money I made last year in 2022 just in real estate related agent business, just over $200,000 or saved by listing my own flips. I made commissions from people that I listed houses for, I made commissions on a couple of people that I found houses for, and I made a lot of commission, or I saved a lot of money on commissions by listing my own houses. All right, you can do the same thing. In the beginning, more than likely, you're just going to be finding houses for investors. And eventually you will learn the ropes and start investing yourself, which is what I hope, dream, and implore you to learn how to do. But if you want to 3X, 5X, 10X your income, guys, you've got to start learning to work with investors. So to wrap all this up, kind of a short video today, to wrap all this up, if I was a real estate agent right now, I would literally go out and find every real estate investor I could and find out what they want, and I would bring that to them. Keep in mind, you may only find one deal one smidgen little deal per investor a year. You're not gonna find 10 properties for your investors to begin with. You're gonna find good deals for them, so you're not gonna bring them crap, so you might bring them one. Instead of bringing nine crap deals and one good deal, and by the time that good deal comes along, they may not want to even look at your deals anymore, find one good deal that makes sense to them, and they will always open your emails when you send them. All right, guys? I hope this was informative. I want you guys as agents to make more money. I want you guys to be able to do what I've done over the years. I dress like this every day as an agent. I do, because I'm also an investor. I get a lot of respect because of that. You guys can do the same thing. We've built a portfolio of over $10 million in rental properties, and I know for a fact that you guys can do the same thing. All right, if you like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, sign up for notifications, and I'll see you next time.